Hello classical music community! Thank you very much for watching my video blogging episode. My name is Anna Sotyagina, I am a pianist and a blogger of Moving Classics TV, an internet platform for new ways in classical music. In my previous blogs I spoke about different aspects of music and brain, music and emotions, music and fantasy, and my today's topic is why ears are also important when we are dining in the restaurant and why guests in the restaurant spend more money when they hear classical music. Do you know the word Tafelmusik? Literally translated from German it means table music and it is a term used since the mid-16th century for music played at feasts and banquets. There are many titles of music compositions that relate to meals. Tafelkonfekt, Mensa Sonora, Musikalische Tafelbedingung, Musik pour les soupers du roi, or Musical Banquet. In Mozart's opera Don Giovanni we have an illustration of this tradition. Before starting an evening meal, the invited guests would listen to a divertimento played by the woodwinds. In the 19th century, the genre of Tafelmusik was replaced by Gebrauchsmusik or Salon music and it lost its original meaning. Nowadays, scientists know that the flavor perception can be changed purely by sound. You can do a simple test yourself at condimentjunkie.co.uk. The findings of this test were that high-frequency sounds enhance the sweetness of food, while low frequencies bring out the bitterness. The sensory science is booming now, and researchers agree that when it comes to taste, everybody tends to experience some sort of synesthesia, a state of mind when two senses are joined together. So sounds could play a bigger part in our eating experience. The British journal Chemosensory Perception published a paper in 2013 about music and smell in concerts. There were mentioned pitches and instruments with odors, as smell is a dominant sense in flavor appreciation. The aromas of candied orange peel dried plums and iris flowers were all matched with piano. Musk, on the other hand, was overwhelmingly brass. In terms of pitch, candied orange and irises were significantly higher than musk and roasted coffee. Another finding was that the playing of French or German music has been reported to influence the choice of French or German wine in a supermarket setting, while powerful and heavy music or refreshing music would influence the evaluation when testing wine. Austrian company Room Vibes and Peter Resch are working on a music concept for restaurants. His idea is to combine the menu with the music that transports the character of the restaurant. Surely it's not easy as people want to talk and relax and they do not want music to be dominant. Experimental psychologist Adrian North finds in Wars that soundtrack of Bach and Beethoven gives a restaurant guest an aristocratic and prosperous feeling. The three-week study of playing different genres in the same restaurant showed that the guest would spend on average three euro more than when listening to pop music. The image of classical music, like something intellectual and aristocratic, brought the same associations when choosing the menu. Guests were more in the mood of feeling rich on that evening. And now I would like to ask you if you like the idea of hearing classical music in restaurants. Do you like to listen to music when taking your meals? And if yes, what kind of music do you like to hear? It will be great if you can share your opinion with me at www.movingclassics.tv Thank you and goodbye!